What's up everybody? I'm here from the truck again because I wanted to jump on here and give my take and experience with this uh, COVID-19 coronavirus. And for people in general, this is a, is a really stressful situation. But for people with um, health anxiety and contamination OCD, this is, this is like our worst nightmare. I was talking to a coworker and I was saying that um, I'd rather have like, I don't know, like an attack of the killer alligators or, or anything um, other than this because this is literally my worst nightmare. And um, I had been doing really well with it for the last week. I uh, have my hand sanitizers, I've been, you know, limiting my contact with people. And um, as the situation progressed, everybody was, you know, buying things out and going to the stores and stocking up on things. So yesterday was Saturday morning and I woke up and I had my daughter with me and I kind of let my anxiety push me into going to the store with her to just get our normal supplies for the week. But I was worried that I wouldn't be able to even get those. So instead of waiting for my fiance to get home so that I could go alone and just make it a little bit easier, I decided I'd go to Publix and, um, and get the things that I need from the Publix that's close to my house and then just get back home. So on the way there, uh, my daughter was being good. She's in the back seat, in her car seat, just kind of chilling. And I'm thinking the whole way there, like, okay, I'm just going to limit my contact with people. I'm going to stay away from them. And this will be fine, but of course, when we get to Publix, um, you know, my daughter's gonna be too soon, so she wants to walk around and touch everything. And I was not gonna let that happen. So she started throwing uh, a, a bit of a fit, which is kind of normal at her age right now. So I kind of usually try to give her a couple things to pacify her, but then I just let her cry it out. But what had happened was everybody at Publix. Um, yesterday, they just decided that they, uh, they wanted to interject on, on my situation and walk up to me, start talking to me, and give me advice on what to do with my daughter in this moment, which I'm thinking in my head, why are you coming up to me? Why are you anywhere near me? Like, so I kind of was a little bit short with this lady and, uh, after everybody heard what I'd said to her, I just kind of told her, like, do I know you? And uh, if not, why are you coming up to me speaking to me right now? I don't need your advice on how to parent. And uh, after that, everyone kind of stayed away from me. So that was a good thing. But then I got home and I just realized, like, how I had let my anxiety and my OCD affect my actions and affect how I interacted with people. And... I wasn't 100% proud of that, so I kind of wanted to jump on here and kind of explain that and talk about that because a lot of the times I'm giving, um, you know, advice and, and giving mindsets and, and little tools to battle anxiety, but I kind of wanted to, you know, show kind of like the ERP video that, you know, it goes on for me as well. So I was uh, watching the IOCDF, the International OCD Foundation's live chat yesterday, and they were addressing coronavirus and how you know people with OCD should um, navigate through this really tough time. And it kind of made me realize that, because um, I had been beating myself up about how, how I interacted with the people at Publix. So they kind of helped me to realize that during this time, like we all need to be super patient with ourselves and, and kind of take it easy on ourselves when maybe we let our anxiety kind of control us in a way that we haven't in a while and for people with OCD you know there might be a lot of underlying feelings that arise that maybe you haven't felt for a while and Ethan was talking about that yesterday and I just kind of want to jump on here and say you know like this is a tough time for us it's it's a tough time for everybody, for young people who haven't been through anything like this, for old people who are worried that, you know, it could affect them negatively, and for the OCD community and the anxiety community. So I just wanted to say, you know, give yourself a little bit of slack. Um, be patient with, with your exposures right now and just follow the guidelines that the CDC has given out 
and just be patient with yourself through that. So I kind of just want to jump on here and kind of give my experience with this. And I just want to say like, you know, I want to pray for everybody um, for their health. I want to pray that the people that um, are sick uh, have the strength to get well and the people that are well stay healthy. So just everybody be safe out there. Thanks, guys.